hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your support. If you're new here, you are welcome. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you or discussing with you the reasons why you should never give up in life. No matter what you're going through, never ever give up. So let us start our video right away. <laughs> so guys, sometimes in life, we face a lot of problems, tough times, some situations that push us to a point of giving up and say, this is the end, I cannot take it. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing those situations and why you should never give up while you are facing those situations. Our situation number one is whereby you have lost your job, you have bills to pay, you have a family to take care of, you have sick parents, and all that needs money. You've been applying for the job everywhere, but you're not getting the job. And you have reached to a point that, God, why? Why have you decided to kill me with hunger? Why God? Why? How will I live? You know, you start questioning God. But I can advise you guys, never question God. Don't question God. Pray for God to open the doors for you. Pray to God that the job you are looking, you get it. And some people, you have good education, you have studied, you had a very high paying job, but at this situation, you don't have that high paying job. People have lost the respect in you, but you still want to stay here. <laughs> and it is giving you a lot of headache and you cannot humble yourself and think of the possible solutions because at this situation, you need to think of the solutions out, the way out, but solutions that are legal. You need to do business. You need to do any job that comes your way even if it is not paying so much, but as long as it brings food on the table, you need to take it, no matter the level of your education. You know, you need to do it, meanwhile, waiting for the job. But if you decide that I'm going to use the savings that I have to drink alcohol, then it won't work. The savings are going to be over and you find yourself in a very difficult situation that you'll never get yourself out. So it's better humble yourself, think, think, think. After thinking, then take action, go into action. And when, you're in, when, we, when you are in such a situation, please never feel shy to do any job, even if it is not very respected, or to do any business and think people are going to think of me. How will they think? How will they look at me? <laughs> no, don't think of that because if you're thinking of those people, are, going, are they going to feed you? Are they? No. If not, then go ahead and do it. <laughs> I remember one time, I want to give you a story. I always have a story to tell you guys. <laughs> So there is a time I lost my job. If you've been watching my videos, there is a time I told you a story whereby I, I left a job, I resigned because my manager was harassing me. I got another job that was paying very well, that job. So guys, I lost that job. I worked for three years and afterwards I lost that job in a day, just like that. My boss woke up and I lost my job. So. I was left with nothing. I had very little savings. <laughs> and what I did, because I'm a very positive person, I decided to start a business. The business that I was able to do, due to the capital that I had, <laughs> was selling uh, secondhand dresses. Whereby these dresses are from Europe, Australia, America, all around the world, they come to Africa. So people sell them. So I did that business 
and when I started selling I started like I take dresses few dresses then I take them to the places I knew I could get market so I could go to hostels where university students stays girls and also I could go to beauty parlors and all those places so one day I went to the hostel to sell dresses to university students and I stayed there for hours and these girls were trying dresses one after another like trying and trying and trying and uh, very excited I thought that yes today I'm going to make big sales so they tried they tried after four hours guys one of them came and told me you know what you have beautiful dresses but today I don't have money so come next week can you imagine after she had tried all of the dresses and the other one came wanted me to sell her the dresses at the lower price than the price I bought the dresses so it was a very craziest thing to do for me you know because if I do that how will my business survive so I refused and I went very angry <laughs> because I spent a lot of time waiting for them and they did not buy but you know what clients are always right <laughs> you have to calm yourself down and say okay we'll come next week okay there is no problem so I went and I was going back home I saw this shop there was a woman there I said I'm going to sell these dresses to this woman some of the dresses so I went and I greeted the madame and afterwards I told her I have a business she told me what business I told her I'm selling dresses and she was like hmm but I'm not in need of dresses and I told her please support me and afterwards she told okay you show me I started showing her and she told me can I ask you something I said okay you can ask me then she told me uh, how old are you I told her uh, where do you pray like which church I told her the church and she told me where are your parents oh my god that question really touched me guys because I don't have parents uh, they are gone I told her I'm an orphan then she was like oh I am so sorry really sorry I did not know and uh, after that she told me um, you know what you are really beautiful and the fact that you are so beautiful and you have decided to do this job without thinking how will people look at you because you're young you're beautiful you could have just got a, the easy way that can give you money like selling your body you know <laughs> but you've decided to do this job really i'm going to buy five dresses from you today and god bless you god bless you i told her thank you i was really really happy but her words really touched me i can't tell you guys and i'll never forget that woman so do not worry that you've lost your job you can still find a solution out there is nothing that cannot be solved you can still solve it you will still survive as long as god has given you the gift of life as long as god has given you strength you have your hands you have your legs you know you can still get back to your feet stay positive and think of the solutions also take any opportunities that comes your way don't look at it and say no i have a very high education i cannot do it or i am so beautiful i can't do this job no your beautifulness or the person you're shy about will never feed you or you giving up and turning into alcohol starting beating your wife starting beating children with no reason just because you are frustrated you don't have a job or you turn yourself into a criminal you know some men kill their wives because they are frustrated they don't have a job they're jobless you know it will not help you you will end up in jail so it's better to look for the way out and as long as you are trying God is going to answer you eventually no matter what no matter what time it takes I say God is going to answer you because I continued doing that business but in the end 
I got another job. I returned to office. <laughs> you know. So keep trying, keep trying, keep thinking, you know, as long as you are alive. Don't give up in life. Never ever. <laughs> Our situation number two is whereby you have been in a relationship with a man or a woman and it's a relationship that has been going on for so long. Maybe it's a marriage relationship that has lasted for 10 years or it is just a dating relationship that has lasted also long, like five years, three years. And one day this relationship ends, he wants a divorce or she wants to end the relationship and then you say i cannot live without this person i want to end my life please never think of ending your life like a solution it's not because if god has given you a gift of breathing why should you end your life you have a purpose to live why should you end your life now just because of a person you know it's not a solution. The biggest solution to do is to stay positive, to try to move on, forget that person. It's not easy, I know, but you can still forget that person. I want to ask you a question. You want to end your life, yes, for that person, but does that person want to end his or her life too for you? If the answer is no, then why should you end your life just because a person doesn't want you and why should you cry for something that has ended you cry for something that is not yours anymore there is no need there is no need at all guys i want to give you another example or a short story that happened to a girl that i know this girl was in a relationship with a guy for so long for a very long time five years relationship and this girl was so sure that this guy is going to marry her she saw future with this guy and one day this guy woke up and told her that i want to end the relationship do you know what happened guys <laughs> the girl wanted to end her life it is only the help of friends that helped her to put her life together they told her stay positive forget about him yes it's not easy but forget about him and she did move on after some time that guy married another girl that was the choice of the mother of the boy and unfortunately guys very unfortunately after one year that guy died in an accident and the friends of the girl was telling the girl that you see you could have been a widow by now at, that, at this young age we were not happy that the guy died no not at all of course all of us one day we shall go but imagine if that girl had stayed with that guy married her and unfortunately died and remained with this mother that never loved her you know it could have been very very difficult situation so everything happens for a reason if something happens if your relationship ends just tell god that please help me forget this person and help me find the person that will really love me for who i am that will love you completely that will love you as you are you know so it is not a matter of taking your life that will solve everything no it is by praying stay positive take care of yourself by loving yourself so much <laughs> stay with positive friends and hope for the future the good future of course you know yeah <laughs> Situation number three is whereby you have a sick mother or sick father or sick sister, brother or a sick baby or a sick husband or a sick wife and you tell God why? Why are you punishing me? Why is that my baby is sick? Why is that my husband is sick? Why is that my wife is sick? Why me? Why it is only me? Why others are happy? But please don't blind yourself. Yes, you are in a tough situation, but don't blind yourself. Really, is it you only? 
If it was you only, then why do we have hospitals full of sick people? I'm not saying that it is all right for you to have a sick person in your home, or I'm not saying it is all right for you to be sick. No, but it is the reality of life, guys. It is something that we have to go through. It is not only you, and everyone has their own problems. It is only that people don't talk. People don't tell their problems. But if everyone could tell their problems, you could even get very surprised. It is not only you. Everyone passes through tough times. Tough times are for everyone. If they have not passed now, who knows the future? I told you, I fear tomorrow. Who knows their tomorrow? Or who knows their past, what they went through? They might be rejoicing now, but do you know what they went through? Their past. <laughs> this reminds me of when I was talking to my friend and this friend was like, oh, you are lucky because you, you have a husband and it was so easy for you to find a husband. I told her, what are you talking about? Do you know what I went through? Do you know how many breakups that I went through before settling down? No. <laughs> so let us not think that it is only us. It is only God is punishing us. No. God is not punishing you to have a sick parent. God is not punishing you to have a sick baby because we have a lot of sick babies in the hospitals. Is it God that is trying to punish the parents or punish those babies? No, it's not. It's only the reality of life. So in that situation, if you are sick, please don't be angry and say, it is me, why am I sick? But accept the love that people give you because some people, when they are sick, they push people away. Don't push people away. Accept the love they are giving you. Or if you're having a sick parent or a sick relative, try to be kind, try to take care of that parent or relative. Stay close, give, give them the words of encouragement, give them care, you know, love and care. And the most important thing of all, God is the great physician. Everything is going to be fine, you know. There is no sickness that he cannot heal. Even if the doctors have been saying that it is hard, they think they cannot cure. Keep hoping. Keep your faith strong. And God is going to answer you one day. I can assure you guys, God is going to answer you no matter how long it takes. But eventually, when it's time, he's going to answer you because God's time is the best. But don't give up don't don't keep hoping keep praying and one day things are going to be all right thank you so much guys for watching this video i really hope this video helped you or you found some words of encouragement some positivity <laughs> if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share with your friends family everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video and don't forget to watch my other videos too. Subscribe also. I love you so much. You know what? You're always here. Here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.